Well, we all know someone who's a perfectionist, right? The co-worker who's never satisfied, the friend who has to have everything just so. Yeah, there are plenty of perfectionists out there, but that drive to be perfect can be a good thing, although it can also leave you stuck in a rut. The Fox Medical Team's Beth Galvin is here now to talk about the perfectionism trap. Yes, Beth? and Sinead and Doug, a lot of perfectionists pat themselves on the back because they have high standards and they don't cut corners and they get the job done. But Happy Blackburn of Lawrenceville admits that trying to do everything perfectly all of the time sometimes wears him out. That's the one. We asked Happy Blackburn to pull out his old high school trumpet and play for us. And he thought he was rusty, but we thought he was good. But Happy Blackburn isn't interested in good. He wants to be flawless. I could play an entire musical piece, but if I make one mistake, one note, it's not perfect. Even though somebody may not have even noticed. And it's not just music. Happy is an umpire for youth baseball, meticulous about his equipment and his calls, agonizing if he thinks he's missed one. I could make a call and I felt like it's right, but for some reason it sticks in my mind and I keep thinking about it. And then I realize, well, maybe it wasn't. And then it bothers me for days. One of the older guys said to tell me, you just got to learn to let something go. Emory internist Dr. Sharon Burquest says the drive to be perfect can be a really good thing, but it can also trip you up. People who have that need to be perfect every single time can actually cross that line where it becomes self-destructive. They call this the perfectionism rut. I try to do everything a certain way and it has to be a certain way or it slows me down. Sometimes you can do something really well but trying to get from really well to what you perceive as perfect takes a lot of rework and extra time. Take Happy's full-time job as an emergency department nurse at Rockdale Medical. Something's not right if I set it up and it's just not the right spot I can't go forward. I have to stop and fix it first. He treats the exam room supply closets like his umpire equipment. Everything has to be just so. So he finds himself restocking what his co-workers have already stocked his way. And I go into each one of my rooms and I take everything out that they've just put in and I have to fold it and put it in a certain way and I'll go ahead and be talking to the patient while I'm taking everything out of the closet and folding it up. Just because it's not in the right just place where you want it. Yeah, it's not where I want it. It's not just how I want it. And the problem is you can't be perfect all the time. If you fear making mistakes and you view yourself as less competent or less worthy when you make mistakes, you've crossed that line where the perfectionism is not serving you well. If you always fall short of the expectation you have for yourself, then perfectionism actually destroys your self-esteem and self-confidence. So Dr. Burkwest says, says prioritize and realize sometimes really good is good enough. Happy Blackburn says he's trying. It's something that I want to try and do better, but that's part of the perfectionist to me. Hmm. And if you're watching this story and you're thinking, wait a minute, that's me, Dr. Burkwest says, ask yourself a couple of questions. Does your perfectionism, uh, does that thought process, how does it affect you and the people around you, like your family and your coworkers? And does it make your life better or does it make your life more complicated? You might be surprised at the answer, Doug and Sine. Wow. I that example he gave of going back into the pantry in order to rearrange the supply everything, closet, yeah. That um, that that seems like an extreme case. Is medicine ever, you know, is there something to address this? Well, I think in this case he realizes he has a problem and he's working on it. I yeah. think though for a lot of us when we slip into this perfectionism, we're not making things better, we're just changing uh, things. We're making them different. Yeah. So it's not really productive in the long run. Yeah. I was wondering how he got the nickname Happy. That's uh, <laughs> He is very happy. Yeah. Well, you just said very that he reminded you of someone. Well, no, that I think that, that, you know, <laughs> sometimes when you toil with whether or not you're being perfect, you can be unhappy. Yeah. Yep. And it sounds like sometimes Something he is. Something to think about. Yep. Yeah. All right. That was a great story. Thank you, Beth. It was.